Hello everyone, today I've got a tutorial on how to build a light floor and a mini dome. First thing you need is a biodome, then your adjacency plant to the large planter and repeat that process all the way around. Then you can blend a glitch to the small planter. This will give you a much more spread out light floor. But I went for a much tighter light floor so I went for the traditional method of blender glitching concrete floors onto the large planters. Once you've repeated that process all the way around, delete the biodome and fill in the gaps. Right, I've just blended the last two concrete floors. Delete the biodome. Let's put some light panels down and replace the concrete ones with more light panels. Put a couple of more light panels heading into the centre. Place small planters on those light panels and then connect a wire from outer connector to outer connector all the way to the end. Delete the light floors that you don't need, add a couple of new ones, repeat the process. As you get near to the end, it might get a bit awkward for all those wires. Add a few concrete floor panels to push the circle out to safety and you can extend out as well if you want. Right, let's start glitching those light panels. If the light floor panel is not facing the way you want, just reposition the camera and the connector will flip. To finish connecting the last two in the inner circle, let's move on to the outer. You should be able to just place every second one for the first load and then blend a glitch the in-between ones. Because I went for the tighter version, the centre is a bit awkward so I went underneath to place the last few floor panels. the outer ring you can blend a glitch some lovely glass floors. But I'm going to start building the mini dome. Start by glitching the biodome to the inner circle. Adjacency plant to planter. Blend a small planter onto a large planter. Then light floor panels onto the small planter. Delete all the planters and fill in the gaps with more adjacency. Okay, that's the first one done. Let's move on to the second. When you've got a couple of dome sections, you can glitch light four panels onto one of the sections and because you've used the small planters, it resets to the centre. Now you can glitch the glass floor panels onto those light panels. As you can see, I've jumped forward a wee bit and it's starting to come together quite nicely. You don't have to do what I'm doing here, but it's good to have spare scaffolding. Because the last circular section is the most awkward one, really tight. And I really wish there was more control over the bell camera. There's the last section done, it's starting to look real sweet. Another optical section is the light panels at the top of the dome. Let's wide glitch the last few, last floor panels. Don't have to 
glitching all the glass floor panels to the top, just a few to make a nice pattern. Complete the floor, a few more panels. Wire up the light floor panels so they get all turned on. There you have it, a mini dome with a light floor. Really nice. Of course you can expand on that technique and come up with a lot more varied options. I hope you liked the video and if you did, hit that like and subscribe button or on the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later.